The end is nigh. The signs are clear and everywhere. Violence, corruption, vices. Corruption? In my kingdom? Say it ain't so. The faithfuls have forgotten uh, Siddhartha. The time of Maitreya, Maitreya has come. The only way for us to be saved, renounce all vices, starting with the excess of alcohol and food. Repent now, for the day is nigh. So we could say salvation must, must be attained through every means. We'd gain piety, we'd gain abstaining from wine, but we gain critical stress. We, we would gain a bunch of stress because we're gluttonous, and this would put us over our stress limit. Or nonsense, burn this raving heretic. Listen, this person wants me to stop drinking. I say we burn her at the stake. Take this fool out of my sight. Oops, my finger slipped. <clears throat> my spy master, oh, Vebali is my spy master, approaches the throne with a middle-aged man in tow. My liege and Maharaja, he spouts. My acquaintance, Anikanga, seeks the honor of serving in your retinue of uh, shruvirs. shruvirs. These are our knights. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. The man knows his way where a spear will not let you down when it counts. Well, I mean, he does seem pretty good, but this is going to generate a fuck ton of stress because I'm shy, shy, which I can't do. The graveyards are full of middling swordsmen. I don't like having to turn this down, but we really can't accept the stress right now. Notify me when I can do the hunt. We just need to save up some money right now. Corruption, my kingdom. Pay me 10 gold, I will forget about this insult. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I didn't miss on that. Jet laser, thank you again. Fletcher Reed. Oh, thanks to everyone today. God, God. <gasps> my old self! Good! Now I'm back in proper outfit as well, so that's helpful. Woke this morning, saw rays of sunshine falling through my window. It took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. Hooray! I'm no longer ill. Excellent. Ooh, notable guest. <gasps> we have court grandeur four. So what does this do for us? Oh, courtiers and guests have an increased opinion boost. All right, well, that's not bad. Complete inspiration quality, chance of improvement. Stress gain goes down as well for better lodgings. You know what? Let's let's go to let's let's increase our lodgings. I like it. There you go. We'll stick with the last century factions. We're just retros all. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, we gotta save up money for the hunt, which admittedly will go up a little slower right now because the lodging stuff, but it's still gonna be okay. The kitten noodle soup worked. Damn. You pet elephant in court. <laughs> Need a lot of space for that. All right, learn language, and then we'll uh, sway you, or maybe, yeah, let's do a sway over here on another wife. Another pregnancy. So we're still trying to justify claims as the Maldives over here. It's certainly taking a long time. I think I'm still happy with what we're doing here. Managed domain is good. I think JLS and I might have our child traits by now. Oh yes, um, that's a good point. Uh, do you? Oh, you do. Rowdy Marshall. So, what do we want Dynalon to focus on? So, either Marshall or Intrigue. Well, I suppose Intrigue makes the most sense, because we can't make you a knight. Even if we end up switching our uh, religion to equality, I think the Marshall side of things is determined by our culture, which is men only. So, I don't think it makes sense to educate our female children martially, because unfortunately we can't take advantage of that. But intrigue should be pretty useful. So we'll do that, and in terms of education, so we're gonna be looking for people with the highest possible intrigue, which unfortunately there's not a whole heck of a lot here. I have a seven, and I do have 14 learning admittedly, which ain't bad. Maybe just this wife here will do it with the 10 intrigue, 9 learning. I mean, it's not great, but then it leaves room for us to train people on other things. It would have been nice if uh, you had a stewardship compatible trait. Right, let's do this. It's whiskey. And JLAS. Stewardship or learning. Well, there you go. Um, hold on, what's my personal learning? It's 14. Stewardship is better. 
Although we could make some, we could make, she, I mean, she's quick. I feel like thematically, J last year should probably get a learning education. Plus, theoretically, we'd get the 15% boost to her lifestyle if she works that way. That's whiskey and chocolate. What's that? Refresh. Refresh faster. Whoa! Hey! Holy cow! Uh, thank you very much, Banana Cabana! Praise Ganesha! I'm having a shit week. Oh, so I want to give you adequate thanks to the community instruction right now. Well, uh, Banana Cabana, I'm really sorry to hear that. I've actually not been having a great couple of weeks here, just kind of feeling just generally down in things, hence the, the lack of the amount of normal videos on YouTube and things like that. It's been very hard to get motivated uh, day to day. The, the streams are easier to do for whatever reason, uh, but otherwise things have been a little slower. So I'm trying to use that as an excuse to actually kind of take some just personal days to, you know, clear my head and things. But anyway, I'm just really sorry to hear that and hope everything gets better soon. Have you tried eating a charred cat? Hey, yeah. All right, we're going to go learning over here. See if we can make a wise woman out of uh, J Lass here. And then such an education. Now, I would do okay educating you. But if we do sort by, uh, by learning here. My wife and court physician has a 20 learning. So let's do it that way. Oh, your grandpa passed. Oh, man. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, I had I had one grandfather in particular I was I was very close with, and it was it was pretty sucky when, yeah, that was all a while ago, but it still sucks, you know. How do we get more servants? Oh, those are amenities. Okay, let's go up one level. And now let's go on the hunt. There we go. We knew we're going to get a penalty for it. That's good. I wonder if we get a bonus if we had more. It doesn't say it in the list, but... Alright, let's go. We need to burn off some stress. Go on a hunt. It's expensive as hell, though. Ooh, new martial perk. Um... I think Gallant is where we want to go at this point. So Overseer is quite good if you do think you're going to take a lot of land very quickly. Because um, it can really help recover the control quite quickly. But I don't think we're looking for a lot. Whereas Gallant is really useful if you do have a smaller kingdom. Because having more knights and things like that. Which, yeah, right over here. Uh, is really powerful. It'll dramatically increase the quality of your army. So anyway, we'll take that for now. Okay, I can change policies. Promise reduce the risk of commanding armies is not bad. I'm, I'm thinking about switching switching groups now. Maybe we do start going down the architect tree. Because <clears throat> we might even be grabbing an extra province here. I don't suspect that plus three stewardship is going to be enough to give us like a nine domain limit, unfortunately. Yeah, so every five points. What are we sitting at right now, total? Does this include my wife's contribution? Yeah, so actually, if I get another two points of stewardship, which this will give me, it should give me an extra domain limit, which will be good, presumably, once we take the Maldives. Let's try it. Yeah, there you go. Eight of nine. Oh, now i got to save up money again so that we can actually fabricate the claim, although it's still a while away. Uh, learn language... I guess it doesn't show up as there. 14 months left. Yeah, so save up again. Hunt! Felony Beast! You would think it's a creature from myth. Perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It's the largest heart I've ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half a day. It's still an imposing sight, lying dead before me. Head will look beautiful in my great hall. We'll get a hunting trophy for prestige. Or we can eat it here and now because I'm gluttonous. Lots of opinion boost and we burn off more stress. Don't mind if I do. Nom 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 nom. We still have a tiny bit of stress, but not much. Okay. It'd be great to have a bunch of more fame so we could do subjugations, you know, for our pacifist run. Oh! Coding Wombat is rowdy and beautiful. You know, I kind of want to, like, throw some martial in just to mix it around from different things. And he does have decent martial as a base so far. 
but his beauty, we might be able to make him into like a master seducer type. Still, he's like clearly got a martial angle going on. So we're gonna do a martial education. And also that means we'll educate him ourselves because we have crazy martial skills. Coding Wombat should come out as a pro. We've got ourselves a new son. Ooh, fecund at that. So I have to go back here. Oh, this freaking chart cuts things off. I don't know why Streamlabs does that. Um. I check my email. Does it include the notes? Okay, Halco, we got you. And then it doesn't have usernames. Dang it, Streamlabs, why don't you have a full list? Or maybe there, is there another page on Streamlabs where I can see the full... There we go, monthly tips. No data display. Oh, that's different. Tip history. There we go. Okay, sorry, I had to go to another page to get our, the proper listing of the names over here. So yeah, we had Coding Wombat. Uh, we had Halco. Uh, so Sokum. Sokum is next in the list. There we go. Sokum. Welcome to the family. <laughs> court positions are assignments and honors you can give to courtiers and vassals. Each gives a benefit, monthly cost. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, we've seen this already. And point new court positions, high aptitude, uh, point of position, affects their opinion position, maybe more ceremonial, where aptitude is not as important, instead can be given to dissatisfied vassal. Each court position costs you monthly salary. Yep, don't go into debt. I understand. So we have like more maintenance now for the court. We have more maintenance for the positions. Did the taxes get boosted? Are you getting more tax income to balance these uh, new expenses? <gasps> the, uh, I do want to do another artifact, but I got to save up for a claim right now. So I'm going to have to just ignore that for now. Hopefully it sticks around long enough. Oh yeah, the stress bar is covered. That's true. Hang on. Maybe go over here. <gasps> and a daughter! No genetic traits. Well, that's gonna be okay. So it's a, uh, it's that Ifrit guy slash girl. Let's just call her Ifrit. Our daughter Ifrit over here. Nice short name, very cute. Keep getting daughters. Yeah, we do get a lot of them. Titles can be created and create some duchies. I mean, that's likely to happen when we die. I think it's because of the, um, uh, the succession laws. All right, that's bouncing. That's building up. That's good. I mean, it should be a pretty short war. These guys still don't have an ally, which should show up over here. 438 troops, which we have more of. Wow, we have nearly 3,000 troops. That's competition for Zixin Sun, yeah. Although, if we can change to equality laws at some point, that would be very nice. Still thinking of doing a religious change. Oh! Language learning success! Well... It's interesting, because on normally when you're doing a scheme at this point, this is like, activate the scheme, and then you get your percentage chance. But at this point, it, it it's already happened. It's a little misleading, because it looks very similar to when we're doing like a murder, for example. I finally learned the Kanata language, eh? Endless hours of practicing ac accentuation, sleepless nights mimicking inflection, countless lessons mastering intonation. It was all worth it in the end. During my efforts, I looked to emulate Maharani Sagapai's Oh, she's the quick one. Accent, I am sure that she would be impressed with my result. And of course, Kanata peasants now respect me a great deal more. Feel accomplished. Cultural acceptance between Sinhalese and Kanadans increased 1%. Is this like globally? Or just maybe just in my realm? Hmm. Learn the language and end my scheme. Or perhaps I should send a letter to Kanada in Kanada to Sagape. But there's a good chance that I will fail and start forming a rivalry with my wife. And I would also become critically stressed. So let's not do that. So if I take a look at my character sheet. There's some lips. There we go. I know more languages. Hey. hey. Oh, that's quite cool. All right. <laughs> Being a passive, it's a good pick on weak enemies. Keep the unpleasant war short, right? Hey, there we go. See it done. So 78 bucks. 
gonna get our claim over here. And we can declare war. It should be a very short war. In the year 874, war were declared. Don't need to call him my ally. Pacifist declaring war. It's a war of peace! You know what I always say? Once all my enemies are dead, there'll be no more war. And we'll try, even though it's unlikely to work. Yeah. How are your wives living in the court without speaking language? I don't know. Oh, we have twins! Excellent! Oh, that makes me very happy. Uh, so... <laughs> so we've got Minnick. Minnick. And your twin brother. Um, Jake. Jake Short. Minnick and Jake. I guess Jake Short. Yeah. Should I make it one name? Jake Short. Jack Short. Let's do this. Ah, how lovely. Family's definitely growing. Minnick and Mimic. <laughs> Child of our dynasty. Oh, daughter-in-law. Okay, so this is a granddaughter. Amazonian granddaughter. Oh, yeah. I'm doing my Macho Man, Randy Savage voice. Oh, that hurts. Ow. Uh, Stan from Timmins. Stan. Stan from Timmins. Stan Timmins. Stan Timmins! There we go. Stan Timmins, my Amazonian granddaughter. Hell yes. Er, to balance out the daughter's got queen boys, yes. Make her a soldier. Oh, we gotta see what we can do about that. So, we can tweak our culture. Um, we can reform the culture itself. If we're the head of the culture, I think. And we can diverge, create a new divergent culture. There's also a way to do, like, a, a hybrid culture. I don't know if that's a part of this. But at some point... Do not have the male, the female only, female preference equal law. Okay, so if we changed our religion to have equal law, then we could also change our culture to have equal custom, and then we could have our our women be uh, commanders, which would be ideal for her. Now, all this costs a lot, so we're not doing that yet. Oh shit, we're nearly broke, but luckily this war is going to end pretty quick. Oh, we can ransom someone for some money. Here, let's do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing a little bit of prestige. A few thousand prestige points. Same thing if I do want to make a religious change. I'm missing a few thousand piety. Religion of worm on a stock. On a stick, I see. On a stick. Hey, yeah, he's forced to come here because it'll be a one. Oh, it's already 100%. Hey, we just finished. There you go. Well, you know what? Hold on. Let's let this battle happen. Maybe we'll capture someone in the battle. Hi someone created a hybrid culture from the uh, Uyghurs. Uyghur I don't even know how you pronounce this. I read about this culture all the time in the media, like in 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 print. But I actually don't know how that's pronounced. Anyway, and Tacarian cultures. Need Amazonian warriors. I agree. Famous Sri Lankan Amazonian warriors. Boom. Done. Disband. Done. Wop wop. We are now at 9 of 9 for our holdings. Excellent. What we really need is our heir to have high uh, stewardship. It's unfortunate that he doesn't because he's... Well, it probably doesn't matter because I suspect... We do have multiple sons now, so the kingdom will get broken up a little bit when we die. Uh, really? We have maximum control over here? No, control is zero. Just let it... There we go. New month. There it is. I'm going to say certainly... We must have the increased control button available. And that is the case. So there's no conversion to do. We could do some cultural conversion. Although again, I think I'll just keep it on collect taxes for now. I think we're okay. I make your son the ruler of the Maldives. Well, I mean, he will be. I could assign it to him now. Although, um, 
That might not lead to as clean of a partitioning later on, because he's the primary heir. <gasps> a new daughter? Whoop. And a strong one. Oh, hold on. Is this the... Oh, we have, a, we have an Amazonian wife and a robust wife. I didn't realize my court physician wife was also robust. We're going to have a lot of strong kids. So far, I think all women. All right. We had Stan from Timmins. Uh, so this is going to be uh, from Von Worstington. How are we going to... Should I just go with Worstington? I think I, I, think I like that. Worstington. Like this. May you grow strong and wise, my daughter. Well, you're certainly going to be strong. Don't know how the wisdom is going to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. It would be nice if the name spanned across the ocean. Oh, well. You like that, too? Okay, good. An island of strong women paging DC lawyers. <laughs> yep. This is. Uh, we should rename this to Themyscira. That's exactly what should happen. So Mahal right now not giving us much money because it doesn't have any control, but it is going to build up over time and should be okay. Now we could go and fabricate more claims, but again, I think I think there's a lot of value in us just like getting some basic buildings going on over here, especially once our current character dies, Senna over here. Once he dies, so and our land will be split up a little bit with our sons. Uh, it is going to be very important that our capital is fairly wealthy so that um, the ruler of our kingdom still has a really good base going on. Make them all leave your vacation home. <laughs> yeah, up until global warming starts, and then the whole thing just gets covered in water. Oh, so my oh, it was my son's wife. Oh wait, my son's wife is the uh, is the Amazonian. Yeah, she's she's Amazonian here. Although in the portrait here, I guess it's because she's set further back. She looks so tiny. She doesn't look Amazonian. Some some of the portraits look like really big and beefy. Oh, she just suddenly became pregnant as we were watching here. Some portraits really look big and beefy. Okay, we don't need to create any titles. That doesn't matter. Powerful vassals want position. Yeah, well, they need better skills. And anyone I'd fire, like, would be a powerful vassal. So we literally don't have enough. And they're not that powerful. They're just barons. Oh, a petitioner. <clears throat> the unknown Maharaja. Oh, and will you never believe what happened next? My guest, Thema, won't stop talking about himself and all the things that have happened to him. In addition to his endless prattling, I'm at unease with this stranger speaking so informally to me. I try to excuse myself from the guest by telling him I have other matters and people to attend to, but he interrupts me, asking what job I have or if I'm here to be treated like the Maharaja for a day like every other guest. A dumbfounded, I manage to respond, I am the Maharaja. The blood drains from his face and begins to stutter. Wait, he thought... He thought I was just playing as Maharaja for the day? Did you say you watched her become pregnant? <laughs> Go on, Dar. I don't say she got pregnant while I'm watching. <laughs> Sorry, while I had her character sheet open, she became pregnant. Mm, anyway. Um... Blood drains from his face begins to stutter. My most sincerest apologies, my lord. I promise I'm not here to simply leech off your fortune and stay in the finest lodging in the realm. I swear, it's just that your court's reputation is more talked about than your appearance, my lord. Right, okay. So he didn't recognize me, but he's he's heard about my court and how awesome it is. Okay. Maybe they'll remember me if I make an example out of you. So he leaves, I gain dread and some prestige. Okay. Uh, I can't really do these because I'm shy. That's 80 freaking stress. Or, actually, I don't mind everyone not knowing who I am. So I'd lose stress because I'm shy. I don't have much stress right now, but I also don't lose much. But we get an opinion boost and potential friendship. Now, what kind of stats are we looking for on this guy? I mean, it's not terrible. <clears throat> He's strong, too. That's cool. We could recruit him to be a knight. You know what? Well, he's not joining our court, but he'd stick around. And he's a siege commander. Well, he's see military engineer is amazing. Supply duration. You know what? Let's do this. <clears throat> and <clears throat> recruit to court would cost money, right? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Let's just keep him around for now. See what happens. Yeah, he would be a, quite a good commander. You know, Disco Elysium is something we should play. I've heard nothing but amazing, incredible things about it. Uh, emerging lunacy. 
Lately, I've had a hard time thinking straight. My thoughts are scattered like clouds upon a summer sky. The birds outside my window have started singing another tune. Other people seem to willfully talk in riddles, and no one acknowledges that cilantro is a truly horrid spice. Oh, he's one of those people. Wait, what was I talking about? So nothing's happened... yet. Well, yeah, if I get a marriage sewn to my court, then he would stay. Vermin have infested several granaries in the Thikana of the Maldives, destroying the seed grain stored in them. With nothing to plant for next year's crops, the free tenants uh, living there have come to me asking for aid. Given their dire situation, these farmers will ultimately be forced to accept whatever terms I offer them. So option one, I have plenty of grain should they become my serfs. So this will help boost the control level, but then I gain resentful serfs. Lower popular opinion might get some peasant uprisings. Uh, take pity on them, open up my stores. I will gain stress because I'm gluttonous and will lose a ton of money. Or I can command the bhikkhus to give them charity. So I'd spend some piety, gain grateful free folk. I mean, a control boost is useful because... It'll, you know, get our taxes and levies on board a little bit faster. But this is... Well, popular opinion is actually already positive over here. You know what? We'll go with this, because that'll just set them to zero, which is going to be fine. Yeah, option number one it is. There we go. Well, that happened quick. Congratulations, everyone. I'm now a lunatic. You can tank the popular opinion. You can go negative in there, yeah, for sure. Cilantro tasting good or like soap genetic thing. And yeah, I was going to say that. It, it is quite interesting, and, and a lot of people who don't realize that the other half exists... But yeah, it's it's a gene that determines whether you think cilantro is good or tastes really soapy. This last week I've been spiraling, like a leaf in a tornado, going round, round, round. What is reality? What is real? Is this real life or is it just fantasy? I can no longer answer this. All I know is that the woman in the clouds understands me, but the shadows are reaching further every day. Grasping like rodents. Shoo, away with you. So we're now a lunatic. Does that give me any cool buttons? I can attempt suicide. Well, let's see what kind of events we get now. We get a stewardship perk coming up. Oh, we're going to go down architect here. And yeah, cheaper buildings for... Um, I guess collect taxes first. And then use that to build cheaper buildings. I might start a building now, though. We have quite a bit stored up. We could save up a bunch for the Grand Temple, though. I mean, that's a big save up, but it is really powerful. Do we just save up for or go directly to the Grand Temple? Temple is your life's goal? All right, let's do it. I would love to see the kind of temple a lunatic would come up with. Oh, probably it would be like that one in Barcelona. Right? The cathedral there? The place is cray cray. <gasps> Another child of our dynasty. Another Amazon! All right. <laughs> dynasty of Amazons coming online over here. Uh, so that was Worthington, Syrup God we got. Uh, oh, how about Jet Laser? Honestly, Jet Laser sounds like a great name for an Amazonian woman. Jet Laser. Or, um, or someone who was in the, um, well, I was gonna say American Gladiators. I think American Gladiators was a, uh, a clone of a British, like, Gladiators show. It was just called Gladiators or something, but, you know, they all, they had names like that. I think there lady literally was a Gladiator named Jet and one called Laser. As a kid, I loved that show, man. Jet laser! <clears throat> Rename your ruler to Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Wasn't there an event to build a greenhouse if you're learning to oh, I don't know. Nice to focus on blood, maybe. Uh, we can sponsor for another artifact. Right, which I put off for a second because we didn't have the money at first. But now we do have the money. On the other hand, we can also go Grand Temple. On the, other, on the, on the third hand, artifacts are cool. Artifact or save up? What do you think? Blade, laser. I still haven't seen dodgeball. I really need to. Oh my god, we got a couple more twin boys! Now, this is my uh, possessed wife. Are any of my kids possessed? 
Not yet, but they're twins. You know one of them is gonna be the evil possessed twin. That's just the way it's going to work. Artifact, save up, save up. Most people want save up. Let's we'll go save up for the big thingy. That sounds great. Um da -da -da. Well you know what? Here we're gonna have twins. Technically this wasn't sent in as a bribe, but I think I like the idea of having the twins banana and cabana. I think that's an excellent idea for our twins here.